What up, party people? Action Figure Junkie back with you with another custom-made G.I. Joe. This one made entirely with Marauder Task Force parts and pieces and accessories. This is another um, in the original 13 G.I. Joe inspired from Series 1, 1982. This is my uh, modern updated version of the G.I. Joe Heavy Machine Gunner Rock and Roll. Now, Rock and Roll uh, was known for ha carrying a big stick and swinging it hard and also having blonde hair and a blonde beard. If he doesn't have blonde hair and a blonde beard, he isn't rock and roll. I don't care what anyone says. Rock and roll is a surfer bodybuilder dude who uh, always sported the blonde hair and the blonde beard. So this one is totally inspired by the original 13 series of G.I. Joe from 1982. They was, were kind of called the green shirts. The, the one I did on Breaker recently, he was all green too, the OD green, the military green. Now, I, I wanted to uh, do my rock and roll to be inspired by the original series as well. So this rock and roll has a Marauder Task Force blonde head, a uh, blonde beard, with the cool uh, military hat, the green hat, uh, which I think suits rock and roll pretty cool, because other incarnations of rock and roll over the years did have a hat like that. I'm not sure if the original one did. I think he might have had a helmet, but I really, I don't want to see him with a helmet. I want to see him with a cool hat, and it's my toy, so I do what I want. Now, as you can see, he's got the uh, really cool heavy machine gun. This is uh, something I purchased from Marauder Task Force. Honestly, the machine gun doesn't really matter. Uh, you just need a cool big gun if you want to have an indicative figure of rock and roll. The, the caliber or the type doesn't necessarily matter to me, or I, I don't know if it does in the long run, because rock and roll has been made with so many different large caliber machine guns or large saws and whatnot. He is... He's a guy that comes into battle with the big gun. So if you got a big gun and you've got a blonde head with a blonde beard, you basically got rock and roll. It's just what you do with him that matters. So what I did with him is added a couple of bandoliers because the original series 13 rock and roll had uh, two bullet belts that went across his chest. So those bullet belts came from uh, Hasbro's G.I. Joe. I think it was maybe 25th anniversary line from uh, a larger machine gun. And basically what I did is uh, I glued them together. One of them is a slightly longer so it can go on top. That was on purpose. You can see the glue mark right here. Yeah, it's not perfect, but shit. So what? I'm only human people. But from the front, I mean, that looks clean. That's rock and roll right there. I posted pictures of him online and I swear if I didn't caption him at all... Everybody who knows old school G.I. Joe would know instantly that's rock and roll. So I'm kind of proud of him. I dig him. He's got some pretty good um, dry brush painting. He looks like he's been in a few battles, as he should. The dude carries around huge bullets. And bullets are made of metal, and bullets scratch. So he has a lot of scratches on him. But he looks legit. He looks tough. Uh, I love the colors, uh, you know, a lot of rock and rolls came out in a lot of funky ass colors from Hasbro over the years. But this is the one that captured my heart. This is the first one I had when I was a little kid. I had a rock and roll and I felt like when rock and roll joined the battle, Cobra was done with. Because he came in with the biggest gun. It was like that scene at the end of First Blood where Rambo gets the M60 and starts destroying the town. Rock and roll could do that at any time, at any moment, because he's that bad. So thanks for checking it out. Hope you enjoyed. Please feel free to hit me up uh, on Instagram, at Action Figure Junkie, where I post uh, pictures of my action figures, because that's what I do. Hope you like it. Enjoyed the video. Please subscribe to my YouTube page. Check out some more. I, I'll be posting some more of these. I really enjoy making customs. I really enjoy sharing with you. If you have any questions, please feel free to ask. I'll try to answer as many as I can anytime. Love you guys. Yo, Joe. Keep it real.